Hello and welcome to the 2016 IMF and World Bank Group annual meetings. I'm joined today by Abdurrahman Sisse, who is Cote d'Ivoire's uh, budget minister. Minister, thank you for joining us today. My pleasure. Now, in recent years, Cote d'Ivoire has uh, become one of Africa's economic uh, stars um, at a time when many of your regional counterparts have been struggling. Um, what is the story behind the country's recent success? Yeah, it's true that uh, Africa as a whole uh, is experiencing uh, a different time. If you look, for example, for 2016, the expected growth is going to be around 1.6%. Uh, within Africa, Côte d'Ivoire, uh, we've been trying to put some structural and sectoral reforms in order to make sure that we continue to grow at a decent path. Our expected growth rate for 2016 is around 9%. And we expect the same thing for 2017. And this has been kind of like the same uh, level for the past uh, five years. And this is something that we're going to continue to do. So first thing is to do reforms. Reforms based on a strategy, because we put a strategy. The President Ouattara, when uh, he was elected, we put together a strategy in order to improve the business environment in the country. The main goal was to make sure that we can invest into the country. We can attract private investment in Cote d'Ivoire. And so far, it's been working. Because if we look at um, uh, the flow of uh, investment into the country, uh, we move, we used to have in 2000, uh, around 2010, uh, 2012, we used to have around 12% of uh, the GDP in investment. In 2015, we ended up the year uh, with around 19%. So it's been working. But it's not only private investment. Private investment, yes, around 60% of the investment that we have, but also public money for investment. And that was actually key. If you want to attract people, you need to let them know that you believe in your own story and that you also, at your own level, doing the right thing. So we basically change the structure of the budget. In 2010, less than 15%, one five of the budget was allocated to investment. In 2015, 2016, and 2017, we run a third of the budget allocated to investment. So investment to create growth, because this is the only way we can create growth. I mean, so you've just finalized the draft 2017 budget. What are your big uh, spending priorities for the next year? Same thing, we want to invest. But we want to invest to create growth, to create growth that, are, that is inclusive. And to do that, you need to focus on a few areas. One of them is education. Education is key. Uh, yesterday I was on a panel uh, talking about jobs uh, in Africa, because we need to create jobs. But if you want to create jobs, you basically need people that are skilled. So it's really important to have skill, a skilled population. We spend a fifth of our budget into education. So a fifth of the budget of 2017 is allocated to education. So education is quite important. On top of education, you have health. Health is another area where we want to continue uh, to put a strong emphasis. We spend every year a decent amount of money to send people from Cote d'Ivoire to other countries uh, to go and get some treatment for cancer and this kind of diseases. It's, it's not normal. We basically need to have this kind of infrastructure locally and we need to be a hub of the region. We represent 40% of the West African Economic and Monetary Union. We want Cote d'Ivoire to be the hub in, in, um, in the health sector. So health is an area where we spend a lot. And infrastructure, third area where we spent a lot of money uh, in 2017. We want to have roads, so we're spending a decent amount of money in roads. Electricity is an area also where uh, we keep on uh, putting uh, some, uh, some money for investment. And last but not the least, security. Uh, as you probably know, uh, we got a union issue uh, in Grand Bassam uh, earlier in 2016. There was a terrorist attack in Grand Bassam. So now the question of security is a priority uh, for the government. So security-wise, uh, we plan to do some investment in order to protect uh, Ivorian people. So you mentioned there are big reform plans on the way big investment spending taking place. Uh, how important and what role will your partnership with the IMF play moving forward in, in um, executing these, these plans? Yeah, I mean, the IMF is really important for us. Um, we had a program, a three-year program, 
uh, that ended at the, in 2015. And it was, everything went well. Uh, we had a good program with the IMF. And now we're discussing a new program uh, with the IMF. Not because we don't know how to manage our country, but it's, it's good, it's a good signal uh, for the country uh, to continue to have that relationship uh, with the IMF. On top of that, President Ouattara used to be the deputy managing director of the IMF. So now we're discussing the program. Uh, it's almost uh, done. Uh, we've been discussing uh, even yesterday uh, the last uh, details uh, of the program. We're likely going to sign it over the next coming years. And over the next coming days, it's done. Uh, we agreed on the three-year program, so it's going to be it's going to be on pretty soon. Minister, thank you so much for your time today. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Thanks.